Today in the Eats with Tuan kitchen, we have Korean short rib sliders, perfect appetizer. This thing is going to be amazing. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel. Let's go. Now, for this recipe, all the measurements and the ingredients will be in the description. This is a Korean pear. You will need this for this recipe. I'm going to go ahead and peel it just like that. Now, only thing I'm going to do to this Korean pear is cut it in half. I'm going to remove the seeds out of the Korean pear and just basically give this a rough chop. That's all I'm going to do to the Korean pear. This is a nice, juicy Korean pear. Now, if you can't find a Korean pear at your local grocery store, you can just use a regular pear, but I recommend locating a regular Korean pear. Now, we're going to go ahead and add that Korean pear to the food processor along with our other ingredients so we can make a delicious sauce for our Korean short rib sliders, okay? Now, I'm going to take a roughly chopped onion, half of the onion that is, and I'm going to add that to the food processor just like that. Don't need to be fancy, just roughly chop it because the food processor is going to do the rest of the work. Now, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. I will have the measurements in the description for you to follow. So that's some garlic cloves, some soy sauce. We're going to add that right into the food processor. Now, Apple Illegal is a Korean sweetener, almost like honey. If you cannot find it, simply use honey. But trust me, try to find that Apple Illegal. It definitely will make the dish the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> now this is Mirin. This is a sweet cooking wine. You want to go ahead and add that into the food processor as well. Some brown sugar. And the reason why I'm adding brown sugar, we're going to add some heat to this. Yes, that Korean chili paste, that gochujang. We're going to go ahead and add that into the food processor just like that. And we cannot forget some black pepper. We just want to get a couple dashes of black pepper. And I'll have the ingredients in the description. Go ahead and blend it just like that. The food processor is going to do the work. So that's why I said, hey, roughly chop it. Let the food processor do the work. And you want the paste to look just like that. Not too chunky, but listen, just like that. That's the consistency you want. That looks amazing. All right. And to prepare the short ribs, allow the short ribs to come to room temperature for about 30 minutes. Then hit it with some neutral oil. I'm using olive oil. Then I'm going to be generous with the seasoning. I am starting off with black pepper. I just want the black pepper to coat the short ribs generously, okay? Then I'm also going to hit it with some kosher salt, just like that. The reason why I want to be generous with the seasoning, this will allow me to roll the short ribs on the sheet pan, so that way the seasoning can be all over the short rib just like that now that I'm finished making sure these short ribs are seasoned I'm gonna show you a way to make these without braising them on top of the stove all day for four to six hours but before we get to that make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel for more content from East of Torn. I am going to be using a pressure cooker for this recipe it's going to be so amazing. Now, I'm hitting the saute function on this particular pressure cooker, and I'm going to saute each and every one of these short ribs to get a nice crust to lock in that flavor. So, as you see here, I'm putting it fat side down, and it's going to create a nice crust and lock in some amazing flavor. So, go ahead and add that to the instant pot. I'm only using about four large short ribs for this particular recipe I saved the rest for something else I'll show y'all later now look at that flavor look at that clear it up for y'all whoo that thing was amazing 10 out of 10 the way it sautés it and guess what it's only going to take an hour yes you heard that right it's only going to take an hour so watch now I'm taking the sauce we made earlier, look at that, Whoo! just packed with flavor. I'm going to add it right in this pressure cooker with my short ribs just like that. We sauteed the short ribs, we got a nice crust on it, now let's add our sauce to that. Now the goal is to make sure the short ribs are coated, but we don't want to have them covered up completely. We still want to see the actual short ribs, so I'm just making sure the short ribs get a good amount of that flavor from that sauce so i'm just turning them over and just make sure they're coated and we still have a, a little bit more to add before we go ahead and pressure cook these 
Now to assist with pressure cooking, I am adding some beef broth to the pressure cooker, just enough, but I can still see the short ribs. I am adding some thyme, some dry thyme. Again, I'll have the measurements in the description feed to follow. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on, make sure everything's closed tight. Now, I am gonna put on a custom setting for 45 minutes on high heat, and it will natural release for 15 minutes for a total of one hour. So let's go ahead and check them out. Try not to let it fog up the camera, but listen, <laughs> those bad boys are cooking. As you can see, it reduced nicely, and you can see the short ribs and the sauce. Look at that, fall off the bone. As soon as I picked it up, listen, one hour, we saved so much time by pressure cooking these short ribs. We got our Korean style short ribs, and look at that. Now, I'm taking these out of the pressure cooker. We're going to thicken up the sauce, and we're going to make some good old sliders. So let's go. Let's thicken up the sauce a bit. I am going to add a cornstarch slurry to the sauce just so it can thicken. I do not want a watery sauce to go on the bread. We don't want soggy bread, all right? So start to combine with the cornstarch slurry and look, the consistency should look just like that. A nice, thick barbecue sauce consistency, perfect for our short ribs, all right? Now, let's go ahead back to the short ribs. I let them cool off for a bit because they are extremely hot coming out of the pressure cooker. Now, they are fall off the bone amazing. Don't believe me? Check that out. Look at that fall off the bone. My goal here is to shred this meat with my hand. I'm just going through, taking my time to shred the meat. We want to make some delicious sliders, so I'm just removing the bone from all of the short ribs and shredding the meat. And once I pull the meat apart, I am going to go ahead and add that sauce to the meat just like that. See? Perfect consistency. Not too watery. The goal is to sauce up the meat. Perfect, 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 perfect. The goal is to put this right on the slider. We don't want soggy bread. This is going to be so amazing and it smells so good. Now, for my choice of sliders, I am using pretzel slider buns from King's Hawaiian. This is not a sponsor video, but I really do like their products. Now, to these slider buns, I am going to add some cheese. Smoked Gouda cheese slices is what I'm adding. Add whatever cheese you prefer. Smoked Gouda is the route I'm going for this one. Now, I am going to add this in my air fryer just so the cheese can melt. It is optional if you don't want your cheese melted, but I do like my cheese melted. It's going to be amazing. Now, I am going to add the short rib mixture to my sliders along with that melted cheese, and this is going to be top notch. Now the toppings I'll leave totally up to you, but for me, definitely need to hit it with some onion slices. That's a purple onion, but you know we call it a red onion. Then I am going to add a tri-colored coleslaw mixture to that. I just grabbed it back from the grocery store, keeping it very simple. To finish it off, I'm going to hit it with some Japanese mayo. Japanese mayo is so amazing. It complements the short ribs and the smoked gouda cheese perfectly i'll have it in the description if you would like to give that a try now folks let's take a look at one of these sliders look at that look at the meat hanging off of that slider that thing looks good the sauce the pretzel bun the japanese mayo the smoke with the cheese let's give it a try it's like a umami burst of flavor as soon as you bite into one of the sliders it is so good thanks for watching let me know in the comments what you think and i'll see you guys in the next recipe video